Hi friends, welcome back. So we're talking about Caleb Hammer doing a review and uh, this has been a highly requested video and I'm doing it just for you. Uh, so if you don't know, he's a popular YouTuber in the finance space. He gives people financial advice. They come on his show, they cry. <laughs> he says, hey, I'll help you out with your budget. Stop spending money, uh, etc." And um, essentially this is poor people porn. There's another way to put it. Um, it's very much like a um, Dave Ramsey or a Jerry Springer kind of show. And um, one of the things I always find fascinating about Caleb Hammer is like, how do you get these people to do it? Um, there's been speculation on Reddit and who knows, you know, um, are these people actors? Do you pay these people? Who knows, right? Um, one of the things that, that you're, why this comes up is that he basically makes fun of his, his you know, guests. Uh, here's an example. So this is a month ago, you know, people crying, telling their story, and then he titles the video, Dumb Stripper blows my mind <laughs> it's like it, it, i mean i don't explain it to you that that's obviously yes i clicked that oh my god what is that but it is making fun of your guest and this is part of the youtube game just bring people on make fun of poor people right make fun of their problems uh here's another one dumb blonde can't get her life together right and you know if you're watching my channel uh, caleb hammer is probably not your target anyway you're probably not part of that um but this is the largest uh, audience on youtube this is what it is uh, moreover, this is a description of himself uh, and his qualifications. Let's take a look. So again, he's giving people financial advice by saying, hey, um, this is your budget. This is what you should do with your money. Uh, and this is Caleb. It says, meet Caleb. Uh, my financial journey started fresh out of high school when I was in loads of debt. We're talking uh, private student loans, uh, family debt, uh, insane car debt, and credit card debt fueled by McDonald's. After talking to a few friends and doing some research of, of my own, I realized that my situation was very bad. Over the next few years, I developed a passion for finance and went over a mission to eradicate all this debt for my life through saving, investing, and developing my career and obsessing over the topic and taking in as much information as I could. From there, I could decide. I decided to start my YouTube channel and see if I could help others do the same. What I didn't know is that people would enjoy watching it. Haha, ha, last smiley face. And uh, I'd film over 500 episodes. Now my mission is to have conversations that I wish someone had with me over a decade ago not just through my YouTube channel, but also through my programs, resources, and free newsletters. So when you look at Caleb, it's interesting. He's been only doing this for like a year because um, you can go to his oldest videos. You can see like he started out with rental properties and he's talking about, you know, maybe uh, end of middle class. Dave Ramsey video did really, really well for him. And then he's like, oh, I need to do Dave Ramsey style videos. <laughs> I mean, it works, right? You can see the views. And uh, after that, he started bringing on guests. And, and, and again, was very, very successful with that. And essentially is the formula that's tried and trusted um, is essentially poor people porn. You bring on uh, poor people, they talk about, you know, my husband spends too much money on cars, I spend too much money on cars, I go to McDonald's too much like that. And people enjoy watching that kind of stuff because it's fun, right? I, 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 I won't lie, it's fun, it's entertainment. Um, but uh, what you may or may not know is that Caleb actually, um, when you look at his you know most recent video, and I always look for it like, okay, so how, how are we qualified to give like financial advice to people? <laughs> um, it, it's like, I don't see any license or anything there. And to be fair, you know, maybe you don't need a license to, to, to do this kind of stuff, but I, I just find it questionable. Uh, because also too, we're talking about here, he's promoting in his keyword section, Graham Stephan, Dave Ramsey, right? So it's very clear what he's targeting. Uh, moreover, actually, if you dig into it, um, I remember doing a video on him a while ago where I just mentioned him briefly and um, I believe at one point he was part of Creators Agency. Um, I couldn't find any archive pictures because they have changed their, their photos. If you don't know Creators Agency, um, they're the agency that was pumping FTX. That's the crypto exchange, uh, NFTs, etc. All the big financing flows were in it. There is a lot of money involved with this stuff, pushing uh, products and scammy things and moreover, uh, Caleb is now selling you a class for $147. I believe he started doing this maybe a month or so ago. I, I don't know the exact date, um, but he is selling it. And uh, it says everything you need to get out of debt and prove your financial situation. This is Caleb in his own words. Here's the thing. Americans are spending money they don't have going into endless amounts of debt and dying on the Walmart floor. But this is not inevitable. We can take... So essentially he's saying, hey, uh, to get out of debt, give me $147. <laughs> and and <laughs> that's what he's saying. And, and it really is a, a page out of Dave Ramsey's book. Um, the thing that's really interesting, if, if you if you want to look into his target audience, uh, in the video he mentions Walmart, 
in his own personal biography, he mentions McDonald's, right? This is the kind of target that you're going for. And, and I get it, guys. That's your largest audience. That's the largest group of Americans that are into that kind of stuff, McDonald's and Walmart. Uh, moreover, you know, his hero, Dave Ramsey, who, you know, he realized that, man, if I just do Dave Ramsey's formula, again, it's poor people porn. Poor people call in. You make fun of them. Um, you tell them they're stupid, this kind of stuff. Be mean. Uh, make them cry. People enjoy that stuff. Dave Ramsey had a similar situation. Um, he had a whole bunch of debt, declared bankruptcy. Uh, and then Dave Ramsey realized, Dave, this is a quote here, Dave Ramsey experienced several years of financial recovery and began offering financial advice to couples at his local church. That's where you can make tons of money. And uh, again, you can charge these kind of classes, uh, money for that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, I, I don't know uh, Caleb personally, but I don't like this kind of person. I don't like this kind of content. Uh, moreover, if you actually look at his early YouTube channel, um, you can see it right here. This is Caleb Hammer Composer. Uh, it even has the link right there, calebhammer.com. He even has a link when you, uh, so again, basically he was a music guy or is a music guy. Um, and hey, music's great. I like music, nothing wrong with music. Um, he went to Western Michigan uh, University. You can see right here, born in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, he gives details of his birthday. Who knows why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, moreover, uh, he actually has a direct link to his webpage. You can click it right there and uh, it takes you right there. So it's the same person. I wanted to make sure that, that that's clear. So that's him. Uh, that's his first YouTube. And uh, and this is this is the thing is, is you know, you figured out very quickly that, that this is an entertainment game. Your largest audience is essentially poor people who can't manage their money and, um, you know, make videos about McDonald's and Walmart and go for that. Um, I, I understand that people find this entertaining, but I, I just, I, I, I don't, I don't like the spirit of it to be perfectly frank. Um, I, I, I don't like making fun of, uh, poor people in, in this way. Uh, I find it like exploitative, like Jerry Springer. Uh, if you know what Jerry Springer is, if you guys are old enough, and I don't even know if he's still on TV anymore, but essentially you'd bring on, you know, two people and, and there's, you know, they had sex maybe three years ago and there's like a secret kid that, that the you know, person doesn't know about and they do a DNA test or they fight about, oh no, that's not my kid. You were cheating on me and there'll be two dads and which, which dad is the kid? <laughs> yes, it's entertainment. Yes, it is. Right. But it's, it's, it's exploitative, right? There's no other way to put it. And it's, it's the same kind of stuff with, with Caleb. Does he help people? Who knows, right? That's up for, up for you to decide. Uh, if you're watching my channel, you probably don't need to watch Caleb. You probably don't need this kind of help. You probably can manage your money just fine. Uh, over here, we just try to talk about the news and these kind of things, but this is the reality. The average American can't budget. So I actually do agree with Caleb in, in that regard. I completely agree. I completely agree that the average American eats at McDonald's. I can agree that the average American shops at Walmart. I understand that that's your target audience. Um, and, and you do your thing, but for me, um, you know, the reason why we're making the video today, when you start charging these expensive classes, $147, I just, I find it to be too much. Yes, I understand your argument's gonna be, well, it's cheaper than $1,000, you know, I'm not charging $1,000. And and I, I just, I, 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 I'm uncomfortable with this kind of content. I'm uncomfortable with these kind of people giving it and his qualifications that he was addicted to McDonald's and from his own words, it's right here, that, you know, he had debt fueled by, credit card debt fueled by McDonald's. And it's like, is that the person I wanna be listening to? Now, for some people, the answer is yes. Uh, for some people, they say, Caleb's just like me. I have credit card problems, I love McDonald's, and, and I need to you know listen to someone who helps me break that McDonald's and credit card you know addiction. And that's your majority on YouTube. Um, it, it, it is a frustrating world uh, that we live in because, how can I say, you can uh, be very, very profitable if you follow the Meet Caleb or Dave Ramsey uh, formula. Um, if you bring on poor people and make fun of them and you know talk about these kind of things, people people love it, they, they, they do. And part of this sort of selling of the classes is similar to what other YouTubers do. You're, you're selling them the, the dream. Um, the, the dream is that you, that, you know, it's quick and easy to solve your problems. And, you know, this guy's not a psychologist. He's not a financial, you know, person. Uh, he is in the sense of like, he act, he pretends to be one on, on YouTube or slash TV. Um, but it, it is, it, it's, how can I say? I, I, I guess I find this stuff and, and I'm just being kind about this stuff the, the best way that I can, but I, I guess what I really dislike about it is that you're you're picking on the weakest people out there uh, in the world and you're, you're kind of teaching them to say, hey, you know, uh, let's make fun of other people like you. Let's feel bad about uh, yourself, right? Let's make you cry. And moreover, please give me money to keep doing it. Um, if, if you really did care about these people, you would put out all of this content for, for free on YouTube. 
um i mean this is what you do it's like why it's i guess i guess the the problem i have with this stuff is like why paywall more videos when you already have a video platform to do it and the answer is, is greed um if you look at his his views on the on the channel i mean he gets over 100,000 200,000 views he makes decent money on his videos maybe he gets you know maybe 2,000 a video maybe 5,000 video who knows the exact actual monetization exactly because it depends on a particular channel but you know you may end up with a two dollars per thousand views and and you know you can do the math from that or maybe four dollars per thousand views who knows exactly what the numbers are i don't know his his demographics or, or numbers from his channel but when you're getting these kind of views you just you don't you don't need to be charging more money on this like courses unless you just are greedy there's no other way to put it and if you look at dave ramsey and this is sort of why i don't like the dave ramsey stuff you know, eventually Kayla Hammer probably wants to turn into Dave Ramsey where you're giving seminars and charging, you know, thousand dollars, stuff like that. And that's, that's sort of where you're going. Um, yes, you're not there yet. It's only $147 I can read. Um, but that's the path that you're on. And, and again, it's all about exploiting poor people, essentially what it is. So uh, I don't like these kind of people. I don't like this kind of content. And you guys already know my feelings on this stuff. So that's my thoughts on Caleb Hammer. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. And uh, I'll catch you next video.